So hello, oh my gosh, stop. Hello everyone, welcome to a video. It definitely actually happened. This is definitely actually happened. And the story today is by me, uh, Jessica. Yes, it is by me, Jessica. And um, so basically, let me tell you my story of when I saw a UFO, I told my dad, and no one believed me, and ev so everyone hated me. So let's go. So one time, I was playing outside with my killer whale hair. <laughs> with my killer whale hair, and I was looking up in the sky, looking at the stars, because it was nighttime, and it was way past my bedtime, it was like a thousand o'clock, and, um, so I was looking up at the stars, looking up at the stars, when all of a sudden, I saw something go by in a blink of an eye, that rhyme, tee hee hee, so, saw this unidentified flying object, is that's what UFO stands for? Yeah, and it killed it killed the stars. It killed the, st oh, the stars landed on my garden, and they were bleeding out. They were like oh, no red. They were bleeding out all over the place, and I started. I gasped because there were dead stars on my friggin lawn, and then all of a sudden, uh, aliens abducted me with their rays so no i didn't need to save that no so um then i was up in a spaceship with aliens and i was like what do you want with me what do you want with me tell me now you stupid aliens. I hate you. So stupid. Like, you are the stupidest aliens I've ever seen in my life. You're so stupid. And, um, so these aliens were, like, really stupid because they were with elephant ears and their eyes super big. And they said, Hurtful, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna kick you out. So I got kicked out of the rocket ship. I mean, UFO. Uh, no. And uh, so what happened basically was, uh, basically they broke their UFO because the alien kicked me out. And I was just flying through the air. I was just going. I was like rushing down i was like i just destroyed the earth and i just destroyed it i was like Bleh! so i destroyed the earth i no i didn't because you're all still on earth and no no i did destroy the earth so i had to move on to mars i mean we're all living on mars right now <laughs> excuse me uh so uh now that we're living on Mars, there's no Martians. Um, so after that, we all moved to Mars, and uh, my dad, when we moved into our new Mars house, uh, it was really cool. It's really cool. It's like a mansion because like government was super happy that we moved to Mars and that like super cool stuff. So like the government like gave us a really cool house. It's like a cool house, like weird windows that are like this and like this and this and this and this and this the windows are super cool here in this house okay and uh so one day my dad comes up to me uh with his glasses and my dad says why did you destroy earth you sissy now my dad is the only one that really likes me because like, everyone else just hates me. And, uh, my dad is super confused. He's, he's, a uh, he has wonky eyes. Anyways, my dad asked me, why did I destroy Earth? And I go, I saw a UFO. I got abducted and I flew down and destroyed the Earth because I'm super smart. And my dad goes, oh, I'm going to go tell everyone. And Jessica, 
gets a worried expression on her face. That's a worried expression on her face. And her dad runs off and goes to tell everyone. In the next scene, basically, you see her dad telling everyone what Jessica did. And... Um... Uh, and Jessica's dad was like, Hey everyone, Jessica uh, destroyed the earth because she got abducted by a UFO. And everyone else, including her mom, who still hates her, he's like, Oh, that stupid child that I stupidly had when I was stupid 27, so stupidly stupid, 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 stupidly stupid, 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 stupidly stupid, stupid. Just so stupid, just like extremely stupid, 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 extremely stupid child. Like that child I like really hate because she's really stupid and she's like really stupid. And her dog, who just doesn't really care, who she is, she's a Martian dog. Her name is, um, Dodie. And Dodie is kind of like a snake mixed with a dog so she has a really weird body but then she has like really skinny arms uh, and legs that are spikes and Dodie said oh uh, whatever what she do oh yeah that's really cool uh, and her mom is still going and stupid 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 child so stupidly stupid that I hate you because she's could she just such stupidly stupid and stupid plan of stupid 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 and her dad gets an angry expression on his face and she he screams I never liked you anyways and then slapped you slapped the mom across the face. The mom in a rage went up to her daughter's room with her new Martian haircut and said to Jessica, Never, and I mean ever, talk to this family again. You hear me, you stupid, stupid child, stupid that I hate. She's just so stupid. Just hate. Oh, uh, go away. And stupid child that I stupidly hate because it's so stupid, stupid. And then Jessica starts crying because she's sad. And um and she's like, but but and uh her mom's like, No buts! You're grounded forever! You're like a Martian year. Which on earth would be like twenty seven years. So you're you're grounded for twenty seven Earth years, but we're in Mars, so you're grounded for one Mar Mars year. And Jessica's like No No And um I mean I was like Aah. So then one Mars year later, which is like 27 actual Earth years, I got out of the grounded and I was happy because I was so bored in there. I don't have a phone because my mom took it off me. I was like, yay, I'm so happy, yay, yay. And when I got out, my dad had passed away. And, um,. So I was the only one left in the family um, that liked myself. And uh, after I found this out, I was destroyed because I had no supporters and I was just forever alone. The rest of a lot. I just sat on my bed because I couldn't deal with this by myself. Especially since I was my only, like, I only liked myself. I didn't like anyone else except my dad because everyone else hated, hated me as well. And I was destroyed.
the last thing I remember saying to my dad was what had happened that night, and uh, I hadn't talked to him about since. But uh, I was just destroyed when one day my mom came in to me with not angry eyes and said to me, she said nothing. She just came over to me and slapped me. I was just, I was just so confused, but I didn't say anything because I was, I couldn't because I was too sad. Uh, my mom came over to me, said nothing, and jumped out the window. She died that day, and I had to go to her. I didn't go to her funeral, but I went to my dad's, which was the same one as my mom. So I basically just did skip my mom, which is like, mm. so I cried throughout my whole of my dad's funeral and my mom's because it was my mom's too, and um, everyone was saying, "Oh my god." Stupid child here is trying for her mom as well. Oh my god, why is she crying for someone who hates her? She's such a stupid child. I hate her. I hate uh, little Miss Jessica. That, that's a Martian hairstyle too. So she, they were like, I hate Jessica. She's like so stupid. I hate her. She's crying for someone she hates. She hates and hated her. And I was just destroyed. I couldn't do anymore. I closed my eyes and when I opened them it was all a dream so um, I dream lasted for ages and when I woke up I was so confused. I was like what? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? And I was in a hospital gown because I was in a coma and um plot twist uh so i woke up and i was like oh my god oh my god what happened oh my god oh my god what happened oh my god so um my mom and my dad were standing beside my bed and they were both crying because apparently in this world my family did like me and it wasn't just my dad who liked me Uh, so I got up out of my bed and I found out that this wasn't my real dad. This is my stepdad after my dad, my real dad died. And I was even more destroyed because he didn't really like me either. He still was happy for me to be alive, but he wasn't that emotionally attached to me. My whole world became a darkness and I couldn't live with myself after this. I just couldn't. My whole life became a shambles. Wait. My whole life became a darkness. No light, no anything, just darkness. When I saw hope in my dark world, it was that the only way to go out of this cruel world was the sweet release of death. And this is a sweet release of death. And that's what I did. My whole world is gone. My whole world is gone. And and all I have now in heaven is my dad, but I don't have anything. All I am is just spirit looking over what is my corpse.
Every day I see my mom come in and say, and she starts every single day, and she, she's way too sad. Because he feels so guilty. Never there for me anyway. Make sure to like and subscribe and share. I'll see you in the next.